Okay, what we're going to look at today is the thesis. Uh, when you write an essay, it needs to have a point that you are making, and the point that you are making is known as a thesis. So what we want to look at is what is a thesis? Now, one of the things that happens with, especially if you're not really familiar with what an essay is or what an essay does, uh, is a lot of people get confused between a thesis and a topic. So we want to distinguish between the two elements. A topic is what you are writing about. And so in grammatical terms, this topic will be expressed actually as a noun or a noun phrase. So it will not be a complete sentence. Uh, one of the ways to tell if what you're looking at is a topic is asking yourself a question uh, and seeing if you can fill this blank. If you can say it's about blank, then whatever's in that blank, that's your topic. So, for example, if I'm writing an essay, I might be writing an essay uh, about pickup trucks. So that one, I can say, it's about pickup trucks. That lets me know pickup trucks is my topic for my essay. Um, or another example would be setting up an aquarium. So once again, what we're looking at uh, is something that I can say it's about setting up an aquarium. This is not a complete sentence. Uh, it just uh, is a noun phrase. It's a long noun phrase, but it's just a noun phrase. Now, what we also want to look at then is the other half of that, which is related to the topic, which is the thesis. Helps if I spell things correctly. The thesis is going to be the main point you are proving. About the topic. So the thesis, as I mentioned, that's what's going to drive your essay. Uh, this is what you're going to be trying to prove throughout the rest of the essay. So when you're doing the thesis, um, what you want to look at is it is going to be a complete sentence. which means it will have a subject, it will have a complete verb, and so it will express a complete idea. Uh, something else about the thesis, though, that you need to remember is it's not going to be just any old complete sentence. It's going to express an opinion. And so when you're talking about an opinion, we're talking about things that can't be objectively proved. Uh, where, for example, if I were to say the sky is blue, that is a complete sentence, but it's not an opinion because you can go outside and look up at the sky and see whether it's blue. And by the way, even if I were to go say the uh, sky is orange, again, I can go outside and look up and see that the sky is in fact not orange. So it's still not an opinion, it's just a false fact. So we want something that's an opinion and not a fact. But the other thing is we don't just want any old opinion. Uh, it wants to also be something that is debatable. Which is to say we don't want something that everybody already just about agrees with. So if I were to come out with something like child abuse is bad, well, child abuse is bad. Um, that is an opinion because it's a value judgment, but it's a value judgment that almost everybody agrees with you're not going to find very many people who say, well, actually, child abuse is a pretty good thing. Uh, that doesn't happen. So what you want to do if you want to write about child abuse uh, is say something like, because child abuse is bad, parents who abuse their children uh, should be sterilized. And now we've got something debatable. So remember, your thesis is not just an opinion, but a debatable opinion. Another key thing about the thesis is it's not going to be a question. 
However, sometimes you may have a question that by the time you answer the question uh, is indeed a thesis. For example, if I start with the question, is democracy the best form of government? Uh, what I find is that's a question, so it can't be a thesis. But if I answer that question by saying either, yes, democracy is the best form of government, or what would be more difficult to prove, at least in this country, no, democracy is not the best form of government. By answering that question, I have come up with a thesis. So the answer may actually be a thesis. Uh, now, one thing I'm, uh, when you look at essays, uh, something that happens, speaking of this not a question, you may actually, at the beginning of your essay, start with a question. Uh, some essays, you want to start with the thesis right away. Some essays, you want the thesis to grow as you go. And one way to start the thesis, the essay, might be starting with the question and getting to the answer by the time you get to the end of the essay. So that is a legitimate way you can use a question to devise a thesis. So if we use the examples up here that we started with, the pickup trucks and the setting up an aquarium, uh, what we can say then is something like, Pickup trucks are not just for cowboys anymore. So what we have here now, it is a complete sentence. Uh, it does have the subject and a verb. It's of complete thought. It does express an opinion. Uh, we've got this implied should in there, that pickup trucks should be for more than just cowboys. And it's also something that's debatable, because there are some people who would say uh, that really pickup trucks are gas-guzzling road hogs, and they should stay out on the farm. So what we have here is a debatable opinion. Or another example, setting up an aquarium. is a fun and rewarding hobby. So once again, what we have here is uh, a full sentence that has a subject and verb, expresses a complete thought. It does express an opinion. Fun and rewarding are value judgments. And also, it is something debatable, because there are some people who will say, no, it's not fun and rewarding. Uh, the fish always die anyway. Uh, why should I waste my time? So those are examples of good thesis statements. Now, what we also want to look at, though, are some things we've mentioned already uh, that a thesis is not. Uh, we've mentioned it's not a topic. So pickup trucks is not a thesis. It's just the topic. Uh, we've also mentioned a thesis is not a truism. That's what we have. A truism is something that's an opinion, but it isn't really debatable because most people agree. So that would be, for instance, child abuse is bad. And again, helps if I spell things correctly. Because that is an opinion, but it's an opinion just about everybody agrees with. Uh, another thing we mentioned in the thesis is not a question. But remember, the answer to the question may be a thesis. Something else that some people sometimes mistake for a thesis uh, is a statement of purpose. And in fact, some of your teachers in the past uh, may have told you something about what a thesis should look like. And a lot of times, it seems to look like a statement of purpose. So uh, when we're looking at that, what we want to see is what we don't want to see is something like, uh, in this essay, I am going to discuss. whatever it is. That is not a thesis. That is just a statement of purpose. It says what you're planning to do with your essay. So that is also not a thesis. 
So these are the things to remember when you're writing your essay. Your thesis is going to be something that drives your essay. It's going to be the main point you're proving. The whole essay pretty much depends on the thesis. Uh, a lot of other things are flexible, uh, but you do want to have something in your essay that really does drive the essay as a point that you are proving.